India China relations globally as well as regionally are i think the most important relations in time and i found a very interesting observation by the the ex ambassador of china to india who is now with the ministry of foreign affairs in beijing he has said that uh, india has a strange india china relations have this strange uh, format of ups and downs a cycle of up and then uh, it goes out into a trough and then ca- comes up again and he says we need to break that and uh, that i think is a is a very relevant issue we've had the relations which fluctuate like that and one has not been able to comprehend why is it fluctuating are we still looking for an equilib- uh, a sort of equilibrium in our uh, uh, competition and uh, cooperation status we just have a, a transact uh, you know a boundary dispute which is ongoing the the strategic uh, representatives who have been at it now there are 17 uh, rounds of those meetings and not, not there has been no outcome and uh, it seems to have become a sort of a format that just needs to be ticked every year that these people are meeting the other has been the issue of uh, the trade the trade is Uh, the, the trade deficit between india and china is very large and the markets that china is not opening to india is something that we have been looking for and that continues to remain a sore point in uh, our meetings with them but uh, the following wuhan the meeting in uh, chennai between the two with the president and the prime minister again went on very well despite what had happened uh, and despite china's uh, support of pakistan on the issue of the abrogation of article 370 that was something which uh, we we did not expect them to come out uh, so forcefully in the favor of pakistan and that seems to have marred a sort of relations between Uh, india and china and that is one of those downs and uh, following that when we came to chennai it was another up so these ups and downs need to be made into more of a, a smooth sailing i will say that the priority or the number one trend is going to continue to be the boundary dispute uh, another factor which is going to become more prominent in my view is the issue of the dalai lama with the dalai lama crossing 86 years of age there is always an apprehension of who is he going to uh, nominate as reincarnate and is china going to re- nominate a reincarnate also uh, but that's a very strange uh, dichotomy if both of them do it it's going to become an issue where they, there will be division in the amongst the tibetans and child the other issue is going to be the issue of the quad and uh, the indo pacific versus the bri and i visualize that the informal meetings will continue those are very essential uh, the exercise hand in hand that india and china undertake this year they are having it in umroi near shillong it's starting today in fact on 7th of december these are very essential exercises and our training with them uh, is a, a factor which even china considers very essential i look at the chinese activities particularly on the issue of infrastructure development in nepal as something which is uh, which we need to take cognizance of the nepalese are not too keen in having a relationship where india and china have the prominent say in the issues in nepal and nepal is a secondary uh, member in this relationship of 2 plus 1 so this the this sort of assertion of uh, their sovereignty and independence by the smaller countries around india will continue